Marhaba ya shabab. Welcome back to a new video. Uh, in the previous video, we implemented this method when a patch, this, this logic will be uh, implied when a patch request will be sent to one of our endpoints. Uh, and let me just explain to you what is happening here. Basically, um, first of all, we will check um, the endpoint would look like um, API slash update slash ID. And we'll first check if the ID which the which the client uh, sends to us exists for a task. And if not, an exception will be thrown, as you can see here, task not found exception. Otherwise, just move on, find the task by the given ID. Then we have our existing task, and then we'll iterate through a loop, a for loop. Here we will. Um, get through all the properties in the task update request. We'll go through all four properties and we will check okay, if a uh, property of the send request is null. Just go on to the next property, like when the description is null, go on to the next property, which would be is from minus set and so on and so forth. Um, if there's an extra value there. Um, we will find the field uh, with the given name, which is also the sa uh, same field name given in the entity task. Um, then we have the field, which could be uh, optional. That's why we use for safe unwrapping the let uh, method. And then we'll see, okay, is it accessible or not? And if so, just set the field uh, the updated field from our request into our um, existing task and yeah then we will save the updated task which will where we uh, modified the uh, fields the values of the fields and then we want to have the saved uh, task entity so we can display it to our user in our uh, endpoint okay I uh, hope this was uh, understandable. If not, just write it in the comments, please. And uh, now let's move on. The last method we need here is uh, for the delete operations. This is quite simple. Just say fun. Uh, delete task. And we also use the ID to delete the task of type long, of course. And we will just display instead of um, DTO, we'll just display a um, message, uh, which will be a string. First, we need to check again if this task is there. Check task for ID. And uh, yeah, just give it the ID here. Then say repository, delete. There it is. Uh, but by the way, we need delete task. We need delete repository, delete uh, by ID. There it is. It's, it's also JPA uh, method. Um, a JPA repository method, past ID. And that's it. But we want to display something, of course, to say return. Just return a string which says task with the ID. Has been deleted. Okay. Mm, that's basically it. Yeah, it's quite simple. Just our client knows the task has been deleted. And as if, I'm sorry for the typo here. Okay. Uh, we are done with the actual logic and now let's move on to the um, endpoints. Uh, new package is needed. The controller package. Uh, and of course we'll name it uh, task controller. Okay. Uh, and we need 
some annotations here as well. One annotation is the REST control annotation. Tells the framework here, this is a, a controller, a REST controller, and we can also use the um, dependency injection here. Uh, so we can inject the service class as a uh, with constructor injection into this controller and we need I want to use um, a special route for this controller um, that's why we need request mapping and this will be API so we can use localhost slash API and then the endpoint and as I said before, we will use uh, dependency injection uh, to be precise constructor injection with private while service, which is of course our where it is <laughs> uh, task service. Nice. Okay. And uh, now we have our. Um, service class here uh, which we will provide by the spring framework thanks thanks to this rest control um, annotation I uh, would say write the first endpoint which will be a get endpoint get mapping all minus, ta minus tasks and Function upon get all tasks. And uh, here we will, um, this will be a response entity of type response. Where's the entity? Yes, here it is. And um, this will be a list task PTO. Nice. Okay, and here we can use all the single line expression and uh, say response entity will pass you the service and say get all tasks. And if this happens, this will be the HTTP status code will be HTTP. Uh, status should be okay at 200 basically uh, so as you can see 200 it was successful so yes um, so our endpoint will look like this for instance now localhost uh, dot uh, 8080 uh, slash API slash all tasks and then we will fetch from the service layer all the tests and represent it as a response entity, which is, by the way, best practice to wrap everything you get from the service layer into a response entity in the, uh, on the controller. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. I would say we will, as you as you might know, we have also some other methods here, like get all open tasks, get closed tasks, uh, get all closed tasks, and this is the reason why we will just duplicate this. Say here, get all, get not all, get open tasks. Of course, we need uh, get all open tasks and this needs to be also uh, get all open tasks nice native blah uh, okay then move on and take now the next one which will be also closed tasks here we want get all closed tasks and this will be as well as uh, get closed there are always these typos 
Uh, yeah. And now let's add our uh, last get endpoint, which is also, and then this, as I said, get mapping. This will be for a specific task. And this is the reason why I want task slash uh, ID. This is just a placeholder here. Um, get task by ID. And so we want to use the, 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 the ID from the path here, the path variable. And of course, ID long. Uh, yes, I hope I didn't make any mistake right now. Um, say this is also a um, response entity. Task DTO, a single task DTO, not a list. Say response entity. Mm -hmm. Let's use our service instance. Get task by ID, test ID. And of course, I forget the HTTP status code. Which should be okay. Okay, nice. And as you can see, we are using here the path variable. This one, because it's the variable, this can change. It can be task with the ID 1, task with the ID 3, task with the ID 13, with MIA 100. Uh, yep. These are all of our get endpoints. And I will wrap it up. For now and in the next video we will implement the other endpoints so see you soon.